Hello, this is Darla Bolja, and I am planning to paint a little bit on this. Even though I thought it was done, I'm going to paint a little bit on this painting of the Anna's Hummingbird. This is a female, and I looked at the photo and figured out, or looked at the, yeah, the reference photo I used, and figured out that she's got a bigger head than what's in the reference photo in this painting. And also, she looks a lot fatter, fatter than the reference photo. And I can show you the difference, there we go. That's the reference photo, and this is the painting. Well, for one thing, she needs the shadow, and I can point it out right here. She needs the shadow right here, like right here, that shadow. And then she also needs like maybe a little bit more gray coming out here. I can see that in the picture. So I'm gonna start working on fixing this a little bit so that it doesn't bother me so much. And I mixed up some color. So this <laughs> looks like a, a smile, but it's not. And then all you need is little eyes right there. But anyway, um, this is Burnt Umber, which is brown. And this is Ultramarine. And those two colors together make a nice black. And then when you add white to black, you get gray. So I've got the gray color, and I think this will this will be perfect right here. So I'm just gonna go in this and get that for that little shadow that's there. And then when I'm all done, I don't know if you can see it or not, but her head, right, um, just switch gears to that, right where her head is right here is smaller than it is in this picture. Like this one, she has like a, a higher hairdo kind of thing. Um, so we're gonna go just a little lower on the top by adding white. So I'm gonna, first of all, put in the shadow and come around behind where her, and it starts about there and down. Up here you don't see it because of the light hitting it. So I'm gonna put a little line there and just start putting it in. Comes down a little bit. And we'll just make that little bit of a line. And I will bring it on around to the front white. Make it a lighter gray. I'm just adding white to it. And it will autom automatically put her on a little diet. She's going to look less plump. It was really cold that day. I was I was out in the front deck and I saw the hummingbird sitting there guarding the feeder. And I thought, you know what? I don't think you're gonna move, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take a picture of you. And it worked out just fine. The Anna's hummingbirds stay here year round. And yeah, she's right out front, just sitting on the bush, guarding that hummingbird feeder. See if we can go a little darker because that it looks like in the picture it's a bit darker. We can do that so I can go right. I cleaned it off. I'm gonna go right back into the dark color. And then we're gonna blend. And this is oil paint. This is gambling oil paint. I may have got a little bit too much. Uh, that's fine. We can fix it. We can fix it. And I'm just going to pull down so it looks like feathers. There we go. And stop. There we are. little bit on the eye too, I see that. I absolutely love hummingbirds. I don't know about you, but they're just magical. Let's see if I can pull through that and get a little bit of feather looking stuff on there. There we go. You know, make it look like feathers feather looking stuff that's actually been my cat is playing with a box that's all it is 
He is over here on the side, on the floor, playing with a box. All right, so I'm gonna make sure this is um, lined up enough. And then I need to, and so right now it's kind of sticking, you can kind of tell it's sitting on the outside of that bird. I need to um, get a lighter gray and incorporate this little line into that painting. So I'm getting a little bit lighter gray on my brush. And I might need to get some green too, but for now I'm gonna try doing just the gray. Yeah, because I wanna have, have it be part of the painting and not sitting on top of this bird. So let's just get a little bit of it. Put that right there. And this is a, a little tiny fan brush. It is a 10-0 fan. And so once I got this pretty much incorporated into the painting, which I do, I just need to add some green to the paint to make it be over here. So I need to, um, what I'm gonna do before I do that is wipe this brush off and see if I can get it to totally incorporate. And the only way I'm gonna like totally go into the painting instead of be on top of the board, bird, I'm gonna take and just drag over the top of that. There we go. Just kind of diffuse the line a little bit. And a little bit more. Right. I am going to need to grab some gray or green. I knew what I was thinking, looking at the gray. Um, I'm gonna need to add some green to that and get it to be closer to what's in the picture. Let's see, we've got, that's a reading. We don't want it in, we want. I think there's sap green in here somewhere. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, that's right, buddy. make a part two to this because I don't know, it's already at eight minutes here okay so kind of look at a little bit of the green and I don't typically use a brush to mix them together but I'm gonna hey buddy you can't come over here my cat wants to come over here so I'm not gonna let him Let's see if we can get him it's gonna be that it's sort of a darker hey, 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 hey. Oh, sorry buddy I'm talking to my cat. All right, we'll just go over here. So when I'm doing those high-speed videos, um, you know, the, that was me blocking the cat. Um, I can have the cat here and just tell him no. You guys get to hear the conversation. Hey, but, but, but no, 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 no. Oh, goodness. Okay, everything's fine. It's all good. Okay, we're gonna keep going. Ignore the sound you heard. I'm just gonna, it was the cat knocking over the water bottle. It's fine. All right. We're gonna go, I'm just incorporating this into the painting with some uh, darker green. And then I'm gonna go over the top of it with a lighter green. I think it's, yeah, a little bit lighter. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's gonna work. And then we're gonna go a little bit over the top with some lighter green, which is a little bit of green and yellow. Got the green right here, and then I'll grab some yellow. I don't know if it needs to be, maybe it's just green will work. I'm gonna try it. And just diffuse that line. So it's not like a sharp line, it's more of a shadow. There we go. And then we got the white. And the white. 
doesn't have any green in it, but there is green down below on this, on this bird's belly. There we are. green over the top again because this is just showing feathers it's showing what the direction of the feathers and then I can blend it a little bit and I think it's gonna make this guy it already does make the guy make this little bird look um, less plump just gonna blend it up a little bit without getting rid of my feathers wipe it off the brush Blending a little bit. Okay. Okay, so tune in to part two. It will be coming up and I'm gonna be doing, fixing the rest of this and then also hopefully reducing the head. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. And one we'll see. Anyway, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Part, would it be part two? There's a lot of parts of this video that are from previously. So, meaning there's a lot um, on it's um, <laughs> YouTube, <laughs> when you go on YouTube. Anyway, okay, so I'm going to see you in the next video. Okay. I hope you like and subscribe.